Not a good start to the day for Pauline Hanson, with son Adam outside a Cairns court after he pleaded guilty to breaching a domestic violence order. But things soon improved. The final election count delivering her four Senate seats, completing a stunning comeback from the political wilderness to become the Senate's new power player. They have four senators because the Greens political party and Malcolm Turnbull changed the rules in the Senate and the Malcolm Turnbull called a double dissolution. That plan to smash the crossbench backfiring spectacularly. Instead, increasing their numbers from eight to 11. Four have survived, Nick Xenophon, Jackie Lambie, David Lionhelm and Bob Day. And the four who've gone, John Madigan, Ricky Muir, Glenn Lazarus and Dio Wang, have been replaced by seven others. Pauline Hanson becomes the queen of the crossbench, with a final seat in New South Wales giving her four senators, Nick Xenophon three and four others. We now know the results of the Senate and it looks like we're set for some very interesting times. 39 is the magic number of votes to pass anything in the Senate. With just 30 seats, the government will need nine crossbenchers to pass any contentious bill, while Labor with 26 and the nine Greens will need only four to block them. Malcolm Turnbull wanted to talk banks, announcing their CEOs will be regularly hauled before Parliament's Economics Committee to explain their rates decisions. This will help drive a stronger culture of accountability. But it might not head off the new Senate's likely support for a banking royal commission. Mark Riley, 7 News.